Um, today I'm talking to you guys about how to eliminate clipping or how to avoid clipping in your GarageBand project recordings. Um, there's two solutions to this, two big ones. The first one is with your audio interface when you're actually recording the signal into the DAW. Um, so most audio interfaces, the vast majority of them will have a gain dial on them. So what you want to do is you just want to turn that down. If your signal's too hot, you just want to turn it down a little bit. Um, most audio interfaces have an LED light as well that signifies, signifies whether or not it's clipping. So on most of them, it's usually red. If it, the color is red, that means it's clipping. I know on my iRig HD2, that's the color that it turns if it's clipping. A little bit of orange too. And with my Focusrite Scarlet, or my uh, Sapphire 6 USB, it also turns green. And um, that's, that's, the, that's one solution because that's sometimes an issue. You, know, you just got to turn your gain down a little bit on your audio interface. Uh, the next one is to keep your VU meters really low. I keep mine almost to like the far left side of the VU meter range. Um, so you see here like negative 18, negative 17, negative 18, negative 24, negative 19, negative 14. Um, if you watch GarageBand and Beyond, uh, I think his name is Llewellyn. He, he, he says that it's... Uh, By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. He says it's best to keep them riding in like the green and the yellow. Um, I find it doesn't matter. Honestly, I find that when you export your project, it just doesn't seem to matter. Like the project file still comes out pretty loud. Then when you insert it back into your DAW for, for a final compressor EQ, et cetera, on your, your, in your mastering stage, it doesn't seem to matter. Like it just seems like it, the volume is still there. So I keep my VU meters down like this. And um, I find that works great because then I don't have any clipping on the final project when I load it back into the DAW. And, um, yeah, so you just want to make sure that, especially when you're, I like, I found that I used to have issues where I'd load it back into the DAW and then, um, um, there would be clipping on the final, on the final track on the a AIF file with all the tracks combined into one AIF file for mastering. There would sometimes be a little bit of clipping on it during the loudest parts. However, so nowadays I just pull my, my VU meters all the way down like this. And I found that it hasn't made much of a difference. It has, it's eliminated the clipping, but it hasn't made a difference in the volume at all. But uh, yeah, like, so you can kind of see what this looks like when it's playing. Like you notice how it's just riding in the green the whole time. Um, I find that's perfect like that. Um, I don't see any issues with it. Like even you'll notice that with these choruses right here, oh, my system overload, with these choruses right here, these backing vocals, like it's still quite loud, even though it's at negative 17. So, um, so I just find it's best to keep them low. Um, but yeah, those are the two main solutions. Turn your gain down on your audio interface. Um, also, turn your VU meters way down. I find that works fine. It works great. And um, also, there, if you're recording a guitar with active pickups, sometimes your active pickups will make the signal a little bit too hot. So in that case, with this special case, you just turn down the, the power on your active pickups and then you'll get rid of that problem. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. It's a short one today. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, see ya.